Hi guys, Jengro here, and this is ATM Gravitas. We're in episode 10. Winter's coming. We've got some new things going on here. I'm going to show you all about it, and we're going to get our start today in immersive engineering. So stick around. All right. So as we do, let's take a look around on the calendar. It's November, and I've been spending months just mining, looking for uh, ores. My big project has been to find bituminous coal because I've been getting pretty tired of chopping down trees. Uh, so I have found some. Got some bituminous coal here. I'll show you where I got that and show you what that looks like. But I'm pretty excited about this right here. These bees. Oh, see, I was worried about this. It's getting too cold right now. So we need to uh, we need to harvest some of this um, honey and uh, beeswax. So we'll be taking care of that. And let's see what else is going on. Come check out the coal, the um, coal mine. So looking at the map. So here I am here. I found that running around with the prospector's pick, which is what I've been doing for like two months, um, two game months, is running along a shore like this. It makes it really easy. And there's a lot of stuff I found. I found some, oh, check this out. This is pretty cool. So this is a gabbro um, area here. And I found kimberlite in a couple spots, which is like, you know, diamonds basically. And it's only in gabbro. So I found that on the coast. And I just ran right down the coastline finding stuff. And I found the tomb of this coal right here. And I found it on the surface, just running down the beach. But man, it was hard to find it. I started by digging here um, and I dug down here, didn't find anything, just searching around with the prospector's pick. I ended up carving a slice. I died. You can see I, I fell. This is a last death marker. I don't know how to clear that. Um, if I get closer, you can, it goes away. And I carved a slice in this hillside here and found none. Uh, try it again. Let's see. Over here. I mean, there's just... The the pick, the prospector's pick was just registering large bituminous coal everywhere around here. So I don't know. Maybe there's just a ton of it. There's also a cave right here, which is dangerous. But this is also dangerous. But here it is. So I dug down here and found it. Uh, so this is really exciting. Bituminous coal burns hotter than charcoal. So I think we'll just have to use bellows less. And it also burns longer than charcoal. So this is going to help us out with our iron processing. A bunch of it here. This is so great. All right. Well, so there's... Oh, do I have a ladder? No. All right. Let's head back. That was... As exciting as finding colonite and graphite. All right, back home again. And of course, it's raining. Also have been just working and working on um, cooking up the loom. So we have a bunch of iron. That's going to help us progress. A bunch of iron here. So we've still got some more work to do there. I, the, my coal production stopped me. Now we're, we're back in good shape again. Let's, well, let's do something with these bees. I don't want them. I don't want those Queens to die. I don't know what's going to happen with them, but let's take a look at that. Take some logs and we've got so many sticks from, from harvesting, harvesting all the trees. I just keep putting them into bundles. And trying to get a little organized, throwing all my sticks in here. Okay, we have some sticks. So I wish I set these up right at day one. They're so easy to make. They, they're they basically just a beehive. Once you get wood, that's it. Wooden straw. And the beehive frame is easy too. So you make four frames, put them inside a beehive. And if I take a frame out, even if there's no queen bees in here, um, you get hurt. Here, these beehives have queens in them. And if you have two frames with bees, there's a whole section in the book on this, and you can read up on that. 
right in here. Beekeeping. So read up on this. There's a lot of info in here. But basically, once you just get a beehive going, then there's a chance to get a bee. You surround it with flowers. You need you max out with 60 flowers around a hive. And it gives you better chances of getting bees. You see here I have less bee less flowers on this. This is a one in twenty-one chance of getting bees. This one is maxed out at 60. So there's a one in twenty chance of getting a new bee. Let's do this. Let's apparently lighting a fire pit underneath makes it so you don't get hurt when you take when you take out a um, a frame. So let's try this. One, two, one, two, three. Okay. So now we've got a lit thing here. Yep. And we can take these frames out. Now, if I take these frames out, I'm going to get hurt. Oh, I didn't. Maybe this, well, I think I got stung. I'm going to put we put two queens in here, and if you have two queens in a hive, then they have a chance of making more queens. Okay, there. Now I, now I got hurt. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting hurt over here. It doesn't hurt that much. It goes away, so it's not the worst thing. Okay, we've got a queen here and a queen here. And if we put these empty ones in here, these empty ones in here. So we have two queens here, two queens here, no queen, queens. So now these have, it says here, you can right click with a knife to scrape. So I'm going to, but it kills the queen, but I need, I need beeswax, which is this right here, which you should get if you scrape with a knife. And beeswax we need for treated wood, which we need to get started in the create mod. So I'm going to take a chance here. Let's, ouch, ouch, ouch. Let's just take one of these and try it out. Right click with a knife to scrape. I did it. All right. And I killed the queen, but I got some beeswax. So let's just put that back in there. I don't know what it means that it's too cold. I'm worried that they're going to die, but I, there's nothing I can, I don't think there's anything I can do about it. You know what? I'm going to take one more, one more. So now I have two beeswax and I can make 16 treated lumber and treated lumber is needed for like hogs and it only takes a couple, it's not very much. But that should be enough to get us started. Um, get us started with create. And then we're going to be able to get creosote um, and make treated logs once we get started with immersive engineering. Because we can use create's fluid processing to pull the creosote out of the Coke oven. All right. We're going to get started on that next. All right. Well, it stopped raining, but it's nighttime and times are wasting. So let's get going. I've lit the place up. We look in here. Furnaces. So we're, today we're going to make the Coke oven and an alloy kiln. These are multi-block structures, and you can go through here and see what it's. It needs twenty-seven Coke brick. So this this book is pretty is pretty great. You definitely want to read this. You definitely need to read it to get these multi-blocks. So where these all work, you follow the multi-block structure, and then on that red block you saw there, you have to hit that with an engineer's hammer. There it is, right there. To make coke bricks, we need fire bricks, which we've made in previous episodes, mortar and some sandstone. Now mortar I've made, it's over here. You just put sand in a barrel with lime water. And there we go, now we've got, ooh, a lot of mortar. I forget how much sand I put in there, might've been a stack. I don't think so. But... Anyway, mortar's easy. Let's grab some fire brick. And I've got some sandstone here. 
Nope, raw brown sandstone will work. Let's give it a go. We need 27 of these. Oh, I made too many. That's okay. We need a hammer. And the hammer is two wrought iron sheets, which we made on our anvil. And looks like this. It's this engineer's hammer right here. Excellent. Okay, and now... So what I've been doing here is I've cleared out some space and I think I'm going to like build the immersive engineering warehouse out in this direction. Eventually it'll kind of go up over the river. Thought that'd be pretty cool. And then we'll build a structure around it. I've been stealing bricks whenever I find it in dungeons and structures around. There's like these fountains that you'll find around that I've harvested. I harvest them for their bricks every time. I'm hoping the bituminous coal will work in the Coke oven. Let's try the bituminous coal. Okay, Coke oven. Let's put this right here. It looks like this three by three by three. Seems like a pretty good spot. Then you just right click this middle block with a hammer, an engineer's hammer, and then you right click and we have this interface here. Hoping bituminous coal works. It does. And this is going to cook the bituminous coal. It takes a long time. You can see how slowly that thing moves into coal coke. And I'm interested to see if we can use coal coke in the in the in the smelter in the smelter and, and stuff like that. So because in the regular immersive engineering, coal coke is worth twice a coal. A burn time perspective. All right, we'll just sit here while this finishes up. All right, here we go. I get nervous there for a second. We have cold coke, uh, but it doesn't have this burns at indicator. But most importantly, we got a half of a bucket of creosote oil. What can we use the cold coke for? There's recipes for it. So uh, we need it for, we're going to need it. Oh, we can use it for a fire charge to get to the nether. All right, we'll let that cook down, get some creosote. In the meantime, the other thing we can make is the alloy kiln right here. This is a smaller structure. It's just eight uh, kiln bricks. So let's, how do we make a kiln brick? Oh, well, easy. We got it. So we need eight of these. One, two, three, four. <laughs> eight kiln bricks. We'll just put this right over here. We'll leave space around our Coke oven for, for doing stuff. Right click anything with shift, right click with a hammer. Oh, it has to be this upper right block, I guess. Then we can right click on here. And now we've got, oh, we can use cold Coke in here. So this is good. And now we can use this to make alloys. Yes. So here we have the alloy kiln. Here's all the things we can make in the alloy kiln. Copper and one copper and one zinc ingot. We can make two brass needed for create, of course, stained glass. We can make rose gold, which is needed later. Constantan, Invar, Electrum, um, but also bronze. So one tin and three copper, we can make bronze. Rather than going through the process, let's try it out. Oh, and if you right click with the hammer on chests, it rotates them. One, two, three, four, one tin, three or four copper. Anyway, let's give this a go. That's an easier way to get bronze, huh? All right, now we have a bucket and a half of creosote oil. We've got some cold Coke. Perfect. So now in order to get this creosote out of here, normally you put buckets. I wonder what the jerry can, this jerry can, which is a, a multiple buckets. Yeah, it needs buckets. Buckets are 
Um, pretty, pretty mid game. We need red steel and blue steel to get buckets. So buckets are out of the question right now. Um, that'll be in the next episode or two. We'll get some steel, but we can use create to extract creosote onto wood to make treated lumber, treated wood. So if we look at this treated wood planks recipe right here, normally you need a bucket and you surround it with normal planks and you get treated wood planks, buckets again, out of the question. However, we can do this. We can put planks under a spout and we'll get treated wood planks. And these things just need a bunch of copper, I think, and dried kelp, copper casing. Yeah, so we can get, so logs for the copper, Take a log, put it down, hit it with some copper, and we get copper casing. We need a mechanical pump, which is a cog wheel and pipe. Pipe requires a copper plate. So maybe we want to make a press first. Block of iron. We got it though. We've got this stuff. Okay, let's make a treated lumber. Be careful here not to waste resources. All right, we've got 16 treated lumber. So we're gonna need a hand crank, power all this stuff. Zinc is loose, so we need a zinc nugget. We do have some zinc, not a lot of it. All right, and now some loose stone. And we've got zinc alloy. All right, let's make a press. There's a block of iron. All right, so for a mechanical press, we need shafts. Okay, there's that. Zinc casing, which is a log in the ground, and we hit it with zinc. So like this. There we go. Now we right click. There we go. Zinc casing. Probably need more than one. Let's make a couple. Now we can make a mechanical press. We've got it. And depot. All right, and yeah, we're moving, we're moving here. Let's put this right here for now. Let's make mechanical press up here and our hand crank. Oh, I didn't make the hand crank yet. We've got any planks for this. Has to be oak. Wow, okay. Um, I do have some oak trees growing over there, but I've got actual oak in here. Here we go. All right, there we go. We've got the oak hand crank. Excellent. All right, now put the hand crank on here. And we put a copper ingot right here. Bonk. Okay, we're we're doing we're doing it here. Okay, now we need a spout again, which is copper casing. Give me any log. Let's go get all of our copper. 
And we just hit this. And, oh, how do we drag kelp? Easy. We have some kelp somewhere. Here it is. So we'll cook up some dried kelp. That's nice and fast. We can also eat this. I'm just gonna make as much as I can with this one log. There we go, we have a spout. Need a pump. Here's a cogwheel. So a cogwheel. One of those. We're gonna need one more, at least. We need a, we need a fluid pipe, which is two copper. There's some pipe. Excellent. Now we can make the pump. And we want another depot. Let's grab some more logs. See where we're going with this. All right, so now we to get this creosote out of here. I think we can put a pipe anywhere and a pump. We need to go the other way. Might have to break it and attach it to this thing. You can connect it on this side. There, that's going in the right direction. Cogwheel. We might have to steal that hand crank. Depot. And we put the log here. Oh, not a log. Planks. Oh, planks. And crank on here. Let's put it on this side. Oh, the, the pump changed directions on me. Oh, it's because I'm spinning in the wrong, depends on the direction I'm spinning. I'm going to need some more food. So I put it on this side. Will it go in the right direction? Yes. Okay. There it goes. And we've got treated, treated wood planks. All right. Well, I didn't expect to get a full start in Create as well as Immersive Engineering, but I think this is the best way to get to treated lumber. We need a ton of treated lumber, not only to get into Immersive Engineering, but also Create. We only really needed one beeswax from a beehive to do that. So again, get an early start as you can on the beehives. All right, I think this is a good place to wrap it up.
we got started on immersive engineering and create, got a look at the bees. We'll see if those bees survive the winter. If you like the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with the series and leave me a comment. I love your tips. Or if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.